Hi again, Tubies. It's Tally here, once again. And as I told you in my previous video, um, I was going to start making a series of videos about ritual tools, what they're used for, and yada, yada, yada. Um, I just want to preface this video by saying, in no way do I think I am right. You know, I will never say that my way is the right way and my information is the only information out there. But like I said, I just took all my Wiccan books that I had and I kind of looked up what each book says about the tool and kind of combined them into one cohesive explanation. Okay, so moving on to the tool. For me, figuring out what the first tool I was going to discuss um, was not difficult at all because it was the one tool that I wanted most of all, and I think in most cases people first um, coming into Wicca, this is the tool they want, and that is the Athame. So I know I've showed it before, but I'll show it to you again. This is the Athame I use. It's in its sheath right now, and it's got a little crystal at the top. But here we go. So this is my Athame. Um, now I also apologize because I typed up notes. So if it, if it sounds like I'm reading from something, I am. Um, I found this quote in one of my books. Um, it's The Craft by um, Dorothy Morrison. And when she was talking about the Athame, she said, The Athame works much like a magical cafeteria supervisor, ensuring that everything runs smoothly and that no one spoils the soup. And I thought that was a great quote to kind of um, take this idea of the Athame and put it kind of into something cohesive that we could probably understand. So I'll go more in depth about... Um, kind of what that means in a second. Um, the first thing about the athame that you should know is that it can be pronounced um, many different ways. As you've heard me say, I say athame. I'm not sure why I say it that way. I'm not sure if I read it and that's just how I pronounced it or whatnot. But I say athame, but I have also heard it pronounced a fame, which I think is maybe the other um, popular way of saying it. A thame and a thammy. I've never heard a thammy, but I read it in one of my books here that that's another way to pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> no pronunciation is the right way. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with. For me, athame is comfortable. I like saying athame. So I use athame. Um, okay, let's get on to the um, description. The athame is usually a double-edged dark-handled knife. As you can see, mine is double-edged. While my um, handle is not necessarily dark-dark, the inside of the Celtic knot is black, and also the crystal is a dark blue. A lot of times you'll see athames have a black handle. Um, the edges are dull and not sharpened because the knife is not usually and Personally, I don't believe that it should be used to cut anything on the physical plane. Um, there are some witches that believe that if the knife is used to draw blood, and that's not saying if you're purposely trying to cut yourself or other people, but if you're just being careless when you're handling it and you accidentally you know, go like this and cut your hand, um, if the knife is used to draw blood in any way, even if it's an accidental slip, that you must destroy it so that it may never be used again. And for someone like me who waited a long time to find the perfect athame, I'd be crushed if I accidentally cut myself because I was being careless and I couldn't use it anymore because I waited a long time to find an athame that I was, um, that our energies kind of meshed in. I'd be very upset. Um, so yes, be careful when handling your knife. Um, so you don't want to draw blood and have to destroy it. Um... Now, the reason why the handle is traditionally black is because black absorbs negative energy. And, you know, we all know that the reason why you set up a sacred circle, or maybe you don't, I don't know. The reason why you set up a sacred circle when you're doing ritual or spell work is to kind of keep the bad energy out and keep the good energy in. And, um, obviously, anytime you draw up energy, you're going to attract negative energy. So the idea is that the athame will draw in the negative energy with this dark handle. It'll kind of transform it into harmless energy and then release it back into the universe. So that's why um, athames usually have a dark or black handle. Um, the double-edged blade is symbolic in that um, it's the idea that there are two sides to everything. 
light and dark, good and bad, life and death, etc., etc. Um, let's see. Some witches may choose to carve or decorate their athame handle with symbols, sigils, runes, etc. But it's not necessary. Obviously, like mine, I have a metal handle. So, I mean, I could, I guess, paint stuff on, but I don't feel the need to. I feel my athame is great the way it is. So, I'm not going to mess with it. Um, just going to put this back on. Um, the athame should be cleansed and cons consecrated before it is used in ritual. That's very important because you want to clean it from any previous energy it might have and, you know, put your energy into it. Uh, the athame can be used for many different things. Um, I use it when I'm casting my circle. Um which I think is a popular thing for people to do, to direct energy. Um, I have a friend who uses the athame to stir the salt in within the bowl or chalice of water. Um, it may also be used as a phallic symbol of the god in such rituals as the Great Rite. Um, the element of the athame is fire. The direction is south. Color is red, and then gender is male, for obvious reasons, because it is shaped like a phallus. So, that's about all the information I'm going to give you on the athame. I didn't want to go in, in depth and get into specifics, but I just wanted to kind of give you a brief general overview about what the athame is, what it's used for, you know, an example of what an athame can look like, um, but there's no limit. You know, you can, um, if you look at my Ultra Tool videos, for the longest time I was using a dollar switchblade thing from Walmart. I had a black handle and it worked well. Um, you know, now I have that as my bowling, but I'll make another video about that. Um, I hope this video was informative, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment or to send me a message or a video response, whatever you feel is necessary or what you're most comfortable with. Um, so I will be working on a new video. I'm not sure if I'll post it today, but I'll be gathering information on other tools that I could share with you. So until then, blessed be.